Hi, I'm David Vandenberg of Vandenberg Scales, and this is Smart Tech. It is here that we talk about things that work and make sense, and things that, in our opinion, do not work and do not make any sense. Uh, what about the term anti-obsolescence? What does that mean to the VBS company? Anti-obsolescence. <laughs> That's a, that's a very good subject. With anti-obsolescence, what, you know, let's take a look at the Windows Embedded Controller. All right? I don't honestly know when we order, make a new order for Windows Embedded Controllers, if I'm going to get the same one that I had gotten the last order. I don't know that. So what do I do? Just take the new one? put it in our systems, send it out there, and cross our fingers? I hope not. No, that's not what we do here. <laughs> that's not what we do here at all. We get this new one, we go, put it in the temperature chamber, heat that bugger up, make sure it still operates, cool it down, make sure it still operates, test it, stress it, make sure it does everything that the old one does, and if it doesn't, we might not be able to use this one. We may need to get a different one. That's part of what we do. That's, that's what we're about here. Because I guarantee you, that piece of equipment that we order is not going to be the same. And that's what I think our competitors really don't get. They don't understand. Well, I think they found a profit center in making some of their key parts obsolete and selling new parts. Yeah, you got a point there. You got a point there. <laughs> because I see that all the time. I mean, oh, you can't get this anymore. You have to replace the system. What? What? You got this checkware or this weight price labeler or this sorting system that's got all this metal, all these conveyors, all these motor drives, all this stuff. And you tell, you're going to actually stand in front of that customer and say, Oh, I'm sorry, that one's obsolete. You've got to replace the whole thing. What are you, nuts? I'm sorry, but that's, I mean, I would, I would come unglued if I was that customer. You know, this computer needs to be changed, therefore I need to buy a whole new system? No. Replace that computer, and when you say anti-obsolescence, that's the mentality that we work with, is that things are components. And you can replace a component with a different component and still maintain the overall system. And that's, that's what we're built around. That's how, I mean, we're maintaining systems that we sold in the early 90s. We can't get that computer anymore. We can't get that particular camera anymore or that particular sensor anymore or whatnot. So we've found replacement items that we've then tested and we can make that system keep on going. And quite frankly, we do it with off-the-shelf stuff. For example, the motor drives that we use, all right? They're currently Oriental Motor Company. These motors come from Japan. They're water washed down. They're designed for changing speeds and they're relatively inexpensive. What I do is I order off-the-shelf components from them, utilize them in our custom systems, and that way, when that end user has problems, they got choices. They can call us up and say, hey, we bought this system from you. It's, it's item number is this. We need a new motor for this. And we look it up in our system and find the Oriental Drive component and go, okay, we need to order this for them and we can get those parts for them. Or they can simply take the Oriental motor and flip it over and go, oh, that's part number so-and-so. Get a hold of Oriental, order this. They've got choices. Absolutely. And now I know we aren't 100% non-proprietary spare parts, but I would think we right. are probably the highest percentage in the industry, maybe. Well, there's, there's certain pieces and parts that if you go absolutely non-proprietary, you actually do the customer a disservice. Sure. And by doing that, you know, we pick and choose, but we only pick the ones that have to be. And why do they have to be? Because of performance, yep. or it makes more sense, we know that it makes more sense for that end user to have to get it from us to make sure that it's set up properly and that it works properly. 
that's when we do the unique. But that's the only reasons we do the unique. Oh, I had a customer that actually uh, saw the touch screens that we were using yeah. and decided to go with us because those were the touch screens that they were using on some of their in-house applications. Well, there you go. So. We're on the right track. You know, there's sales that you're going to get and there's sales that you're not going to get. But the ones that you're going to get, I believe those customers are going to stay with you a long, long time. Yeah, there's. Uh, I have competitors that want to be... Uh, try to be our customer's partner in the industry, okay? Uh, they basically want to be tied so tightly to the customer that they have a stranglehold on our customer base, yeah. you know, yeah. so that they can't make a move without them. Without them. Oh, yeah, it's not pleasant. I, I try to present us as a company that empowers our customer base to be able to do whatever they want. We right. free them. right. You know, right. we don't enslave them. We free them by right. giving them a system that is highly operational, highly serviceable, and uh, very cost effective to maintain and operate. And by giving them all of these things, we basically made them the most cost effective operation on the market. Yeah, yeah. You know, where they need to spend money on maintenance, it's justified.